likes five five books books and do you know the books Tom Gates? No, what is it? Tom Gates? Yeah, it's really no. famous. Can you hold it hold it up a little higher? Everything's amazing. This is my No, favorite. what is it? It's talk about a book um boy named Tom Gates and he's like um do something amazing all the time. Very uh -huh. funny. I always I always laugh when I like talk when you about read those? It. Yes. Oh cool. That looks like a really good school book. Teacher I so have you got five of them? Um, ten. Teacher, I have learned very hard about science, but can you ask me about planet? Mostly about planet. Yes, yes. We're going to start right there, and I'm going to ask you some questions. We'll start with a little review over what you did already in chapter. See, so you're in, um, Where's my science chapter is that? Um, let me find my spot here. Adjusted. Yeah, here we go. You're like less than 57, 58, right? You could just less than 57, I think is where you've been. So let's, we'll yes. start with a few questions just to see what you remember. Okay, Earth's solar system is a part of what galaxy? The Milky Way. The Milky Way, good job. Um, a planet's full orbit around the sun is called a... A planet. The, the planets orbit around the sun. To get all the way around the sun, we call that a what? Orbiting. It is orbiting. Here, let's see. So How let's much time, it. I guess, does it take? How much time a does year. it take? It makes a up year. our what? A year. A year. Yes. Mm -hmm. A year. It takes a year to make one full orbit around the sun. And that's how we, that's how we gauge time. Like, our whole year is one full trip around the sun. <clears throat> so, um, a full orbit around the sun's a year. Um, a group of stars that make a picture in the sky is called a what? A constellation. A constellation, good. The closest star to Earth is what? Is the sun. The sun, the closest star to Earth is the sun. Good job. You're quite smart. The only planet that is designed for life is which one? It's the Earth. The Earth. The Earth has just the right things to sustain life. So we can breathe, so we can grow food, and and support ourselves, basically. So we can stay alive. Um, the planets farthest from the sun, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are known as the what? The outer planet the outer planets the planets closest to the sun mercury venus earth and mars are known as the inner planet the inner planets very good and the largest planet in our solar system is the um jupiter jupiter it's the largest one <clears throat> Okay, let's try just a few more. Those outer planets are made mostly of gases, and we call them what because of that? Gas, the gas giant? Gas giants. Girl, you are doing great. A heavenly body that is a giant ball of hot glowing gas is called a what? A star. A star. A large heavenly body that orbits a star. So something that goes around a star is called a... A planet? A planet. If the imaginary line at which Earth continually spins or rotates. What do we call that? I don't remember that. that. Okay, so basically that's the line. Here, just a second. I'll be right back. Let me grab some. Very long. Very long. 
trả lời hết câu hỏi đã. Ừ, ừ, ừ. Travels in outer space. Crater. A hole on the surface of the moon or planet made by another heavenly body hitting it. Hitting it. Okay. Hey. Asteroid. A large piece of rock that orbits us, orbits the sun. Meteoroid. A small piece of space rock travel, traveling in space, of, often a piece of an asteroid. Good, very good. So read to me about the moon. The moon. The moon is a heavenly body that orbits a planet. Our moon is a natural satellite, satellite of Earth. That means it orbits Earth. Ma many metal? Metal. Man, no, man-made. Man-made satellite, satellites orbit Earth. These kinds of satellites help us predict, 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 predict weather. Use cell phones and watch television because of how quickly they can send sig signals to Earth. Though the moon is our lesser light, the light is gives, is gives, gives. Does it not doesn't does not come from itself. Remember, the surface of the moon is dry and rocky. It is not made of hot glowing gas okay. like the sun. Slow down just a bit, Kelly. Kelly. Slow down just a little bit, all right? When you see the periods, make sure you come to a stop. Alright? And then read again. It it gives better expression to your reading. So okay. you don't have to hurry to quite so fast. Okay? Uh, Go ahead. Though the moon is lesser light, the light it gives does not come from itself. Remember, the surface of the moon is dry and rocky. It is not made of hot, glowing gases like the sun. The moon is bright in the nighttime sky because it reflects the sunlight. Good job, sunlight. That's fantastic. And it sounded so much better. Because you're pausing at a comma and then making a stop at the period, and it gives it a lot more expression. So if someone's listening to your read 
sounds a lot more interesting. Okay, so satellites, those are really cool. And it's a cool thing man's been able to figure out how to do because that's why I have internet. I wouldn't be able to teach you without satellite because I live so far in the country, we don't have regular cable here. So we had to have satellite internet. So we have a dish on top of our house that gets its um, reception from a satellite. So that's how I have internet. Now I can talk to you because of those satellites. All right, let's turn the page to page 146. Go ahead and read there. America astro astronauts landed American. on American astronauts landed on the moon in 1969. Neil Armstrong was the first man to step onto the moon. You could find his first footprint, footprint because it, it, it is still there. There's no wind or rain on the moon that would take it away. The That's pretty cool, isn't it? His yeah. footprint's still on the moon, so if you got to go to the moon, you could see it. That's pretty neat. All right, keep going. The moon service. Imagine you could travel to the moon. Imagine you could travel to the moon. What would it like? What would it be like? The moon is smaller than Earth. The moon does not have an atmosphere like Earth does. There's no air or water there. Its surface is rocky, dry, and dusty. Nothing grows on the moon. There's no lakes or rivers on the moon. But there are mountains, valleys, and places where volcanoes have erupted. Erupt. There are also craters. Volcanoes? Volcanoes. Volcanoes have erupted. There's also craters where other hev heavenly bodies called asteroids and meteoroids have hit it. Craters where, I think your internet is not working really well right now. Okay, um, let me just check a little. Teacher? Uh-huh. Wait, I just need to... Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? There you go. Yes, I can hear you now. Uh -huh. Um, where are we now? That's what we were on the last sentence on page 146. Okay. There are there are also craters where other heavenly bodies are asteroid and meteoroids have hit it. Okay. Why is there no wind or rain on the moon? Because the moon is made out of dust, dusty rocks and dust and there's no atmosphere, air or any living creatures that live there. There's no atmosphere. Atmosphere is what in the atmosphere is where our weather is created. So the wind and the rain are created in the atmosphere. So there's no atmosphere. So there's no wind and there's no rain. There's no living things there either, unless you're visiting there for a short time. All right. Did you ever try these um, experiments on page 147? Um, I don't Little have thing. enough um, things to do it, like supplies. Oh, okay. I don't have enough things to do it. Yeah, so if you read about them, it's really interesting what they do. If you do sand dough in the pan and then throw something on the surface and then dent, throw rock at it, it makes an impact, a little crater in the sand, which you can do that with anything squishy, I guess. Um, but that's like what would happen when meteoroids hit the Earth, makes a little crater because it's coming from the sky, you know, coming from space, really. And when it hits the Earth, the impact makes a crater for a big um, dip in the surface. Or the same thing when it hits the moon. The moon's got the same thing. It's got craters in it. You can see pictures of those. Right over here, 146 picture. Those uh, holes, it looks like. 
they're craters. And so every time, since there's no wind or rain, all those things stay just like that. If you can see it up close, you can see all the craters. You can see Neil Armstrong's footprints, all of those things um, written. How is the moon a natural satellite? How is the moon a natural satellite? Because it's not man-made, it's just um, there, or it's just there, it's nature. Like just there, no man-made had made it? Right, no, nobody's made it. You're right, God made it. Um, and it's, it's natural because it orbits the Earth. It goes around the Earth, just like just like the satellites that we put up that we put up in the air. Right? It orbits the Earth. Using the picture, tell which heavenly body reflects light. Look at the picture of 147. Which one reflects the light? Doesn't give the light, but it reflects it. What can you say again? I do not hear you very well. Okay, look at the picture right here on 147 with the sun, okay. the moon, and the earth. Okay. Which heavenly body reflects the light? Which one reflects the light? The sun. No. The sun gives the light, and it shines off the moon, right? And the moon reflects it. So what we see on the moon is not its own light. We see the moon at night. It's reflecting kind of like... Um, if you have a mirror and you hold it outside and the sun hits it and then it, it shines, the, the light off the mirror shines somewhere else, it's called, it, it's reflecting the light, right? So it's reflecting light, that's what the moon does. The moon doesn't have any light of its own. It's not lit up. There wouldn't be any, you wouldn't be able to see the moon if the sun wasn't shining on it. So what we see of the moon is a reflection of the sun's light. So at night, when you go outside and you look at the moon and you can see the moon, you're really seeing light from the sun, from the other side of the world, right? It's just reflecting off the moon. All right, what causes a crater? What causes a crater? Um, the cause of the crater is the asteroid or the meteoroids, and the meteoroids that the that hits the moon. Yes. When something hits the moon, it causes a big impact. And it makes a crater. Very good. All right. Um, it is 20 after. So we are finished with what we're going to do with science for today. Is that fine to stop there? Is that where you are? Yes. In science? Yes. Less than 58, I think. Have you covered that with your Rebecca teacher? Yes. Teacher, it is very similar. So my Abigail Ab teachers is He's also named Miss Heindel too. Really? Yes. Well, that's, that's pretty neat. All right. So, do you have any questions about science? Um, nope. Nope? You understand it? Okay. Yes. Right, what we'll do, so every day we'll work on science, probably 20 minutes or so, and then we'll do a little review in language. What lesson are you on in language? Are you on the same lesson? Um, language, mommy, language. Hmm. Language. Hmm. Um, 59. 59? Yes. All right, so what we'll do, I will look on there and we'll review a little bit of language too, if you like. Yes. I'm a spot here. So are you reading this and reading right here? Yes. Yes. That's kind of what I was guessing, that that's where you are in reading. And take a look at where you are in language. 59. Are you having any trouble with anything in language? Um, your... You've been writing, working on commas, is that right? Yes, I have a little bit 
I'm um, like, I don't remember where to place the comma in a sentence. Yeah, they got a little bit tricky. So the first one, a comma, we can use a, a comma and a conjunction to fix a run-on sentence. Remember we talked about that earlier in the year, where there were um, sentences and they just kept on going and going. So to fix them, you put a comma between what could be two little sentences. For instance, let me give you one. Um, let's find an example. Right here. Do you know, Blake, he has a miniature race car? So they put that, well, that one, no, we had to change that one. Oh, we could try this one. I like ice cream. I like cake. So we can fix that. By doing what? We, we, uh, we can, like, I like ice cream, commas, I like cake. Did you say that? And I like cake. So we, yeah, we put our comma, and then we can put and I like cake. So we're adding a conjunction, which is a joining word, and, or, or, but we can add one of those words, and that makes it one sentence, but we can put a comma in there. We also use commas at the beginning of a sentence after yes or no. So if you say, if I say, Kelly, do you like ice cream? And you answer me with a complete sentence. Yes, comma, I do. Yes, very good. So at the beginning of a sentence, yes, comma, I do. Or, I love ice cream. Ice cream is my favorite dessert probably. I really what, like ice cream. What I can is your skip favorite cake. flavor? What is your favorite flavor? Chocolate. 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 Mine too. I love chocolate with a strawberry. With, ooh, I like chocolate mm. with nuts in it and marshmallows and coconut and whatever else you can put in it. Just oh like my. Very <laughs> yummy. Very yummy. That's right. All right. So then... Another place that we use a comma is before and after the name of the person you're speaking to in a sentence. So if I said, Kelly, all right, because I'm talking to you, Kelly, do you like ice cream? Since I'm talking to you, there's a comma after Kelly. Kelly, comma, do you like ice cream? Now, if I put your name in the middle of the sentence, of a big sentence, the commas are going to come before and after. So if I pause in the middle and say, um, I think, Kelly, that chocolate ice cream is the best. I put Kelly in the middle to get your attention. And in that sentence, the comma will come after think and after Kelly. Does that make sense? Yes. It just kind of sets your name off because I'm speaking to you. And it's not part of the actual thought of the sentence. Then we use it to separate cities and states. Now, in the United States, um, we write all of our, when we write an address, all of them have a city and a state. And I have a little chart here. Can you see this right here? Yes. So this is Nashville, Tennessee. So Nashville, comma, Tennessee. So we separate what's called the city from the state. And so you might do that, the cities or provinces in Vietnam from an actual country on an address. I don't know how you write your addresses. So like up here, this is Lyons, Colorado, Lyons, comma, Colorado. So we separate that. If it's in a sentence, not just in an address, if we said, like I said, I live in Hotchkiss, Colorado, which I don't, I used to, I would do comma after Hotchkiss. I live in Bedford, Indiana, so there's a comma after Bedford because that's the name of my town. So when we separate cities and states, we would um, use a comma there. Words are groups of words in a series. So tell me, Kelly, what are your favorite, your three favorite colors? What, what? Um, my three favorite color is purple, comma, pink, comma, 
blue. No. Um, Good. Can I read? Can I read again? Yes. My three favorite color is purple, comma, pink, comma, okay. and blue. Uh -huh. So my and, and we would say my three favorite colors are. Okay, because when the colors is plural, so more than one, so we use that form of the word to be used are. So my co favorite colors are, and you got your commas in all the right places: purple, comma, pink, comma, and blue, because those are words in the series. Great job. Then we separate parts of a date. Parts of a date. So for instance, today is September fifteen, comma. 2022. So we put the comma after the 15, after the date. Now I know, I don't know how you write dates. Do they teach you to write them that way in Vietnam in English? No. Do you write the month first or you write the day first? The day first. The day first. Okay. So you probably write 15 comma September, right? It's yes. 15 September 2022. Okay. Yeah, different places in the world do it differently. And in the United States, we write the month first, and then the day, and then the year. So it would be September 15, comma, here, and then 2022. So for you, you would do 15, comma, September, and then 2022. Okay, and those are all the places that we use commas. So we've pretty, covered, pretty much covered all of them. So we'll keep reviewing, and I'll try to keep up with where you are in language, too. And we will cover science and language. Is that good? Is that good with your mom? For what we're covering when we My meet? mom said we can do some, sometimes we can do some history too. Because I have some yes. trouble oh, okay. of history. All right, what lesson are you on in history? 59. 59? Yes. All right. So I, I will keep track of where, try to keep track of where you are. And we'll work on history review too. Because, yeah, that gets a little hard, that third grade history. There's yeah. a lot of stuff to learn there too. Yes. So, yeah. Well, I am really glad to be meeting with you one on one. And I will do my best to help you. Okay. Thank you very okay. much, do you Ms. Any... Randall. You're very welcome. Do you have any other questions? Um. What is a cracker in history? What is a cracker? It's a Quaker, yes. did you believe? Is it Q-U-A-K-E-R? Yes. It's a Quaker. Yes. What is a, a Quaker? Quaker in history? It's what? What is a Quaker in history? A Quaker in history. You know what? Let me grab the history book real quick. Okay. Because I have it.
and they a lot of them did and they moved to Pennsylvania Pennsylvania was the biggest Quaker colony um, in the United States for a long time and then they started spreading out across the United States and there's actually a lot of Quakers um, or friends is what they're called that live in Indiana there's some pretty big groups of Quakers yeah so does that answer your question Yes, I want to be a Quaker because I love God and I want to worship Him. There you go. You don't have to be a Quaker. There's others. You just want to be a Christian. We just want to follow Jesus, right? We want to do the right yeah. thing, follow God, and that's being a Christian. The Quakers are one kind of Christians. They just, some of their beliefs are a little bit different, but not much at all. So you could be a Quaker, or you could be a, a Baptist, you could be a Methodist. And they all of those believe God and love God and want to serve Him. So yeah, that's really neat, Kelly. Yes. Do you go? Yeah. Do you have any other questions before we're done? Who's there? I just see a little brown hand and something peaky. A little brown hand. Here, stand up. That's my little boy. Hi. His name is Colin. Hello. How old are you? Gee, I, I'm eight years old. Me too. He's you're the same age then. It's pretty cool. This is Kelly. This is Kelly, and we are we're pretty much finished. Connor is homeschooled, so I teach him at home. So he doesn't go anywhere to school. I just teach him at home, and we do Abeka. So he's in the same books that you're in, studying the same stuff. Yeah. So that's pretty okay. cool. He's in third grade. Bye bye. Um, all right. Well. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, our time's up for today, Kelly. Yes. So please. I will see you. What's that? Um. Can you like after me? I can't like go out because there's something stuck in the tree. It's okay. I can end it. So that's no big deal. Okay. I can end it. All right. Well, hey, it's good to see you, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will see you again next week. All right. Bye. Bye.